Hey everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at customizing your iPad OS 15 home screens and your app pages. So for the last few years, Apple has introduced a few things that make it easier to customize your home screen. And I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video have seen those pictures or videos where people now have these highly customized iOS screens similar to what we've seen on Android since, well, forever. Up until a year or two ago, you had your app pages and your wallpaper, and that was pretty much it. But last year, we saw widgets come out on both iOS and iPad. And this year on iPad OS, that's been expanded a little bit more where we can customize the placement of our widgets. And we have the app library, similar to what we've had on iOS for the last year. If you wanna check out a general overview of some of these features and what else is new specifically in iPad OS 15, I recently did a video explaining a bunch of those. So I'll leave a link in the description to that. So let's talk about some of the more basic customization features we have available in iPad OS 15 first. The view that most people are seeing when they turn on the iPad is the home screen filled with icons and maybe some app pages that you can swipe through. Traditionally, every screen that you had was just this array of icons, whether you liked it or not. First things first, let's go find a wallpaper. My favorite place to look for this kind of thing is Unsplash. There's a bunch of royalty free, free to use stuff in here and they're all really great photos. So let's pick one from here and set it as the wallpaper. Easy enough, I'm sure most people have changed a wallpaper before. On to more customization features. The first thing we're gonna do anytime we want to change anything on the screen is press and hold down on the screen to enter jiggle mode. I feel so wrong with saying jiggle mode. From there, we can drag icons and widgets, widgets, we could drag icons and widgets, icons and widgets around and move them to other pages or remove them. In the upper left corner, there is a button to add widgets. And in that view, you can scroll around and add any widgets that you think that you might like. And let's say you want to add a bunch of widgets, but you still want to keep a decent number of icons on a particular screen. You can take any widget that is the same size and stack it on another one. This takes up a little bit less screen real estate and allows you just to swipe through your widgets. We can then hit the page control at the center bottom of the screen to hide or show specific app screens. And that's a basic rundown of how to organize your home screen and your app pages. Functionally, all these features make a lot of sense. All of this works really well. It's just really easy to add or remove things and drag things around and all that good stuff. But what if we wanna go deeper? Like I mentioned earlier, I'm sure a lot of people have seen videos or photos on Instagram of people sporting these crazy home screens or super polished looking displays on their iPhones. But we can now do most of this stuff on our iPads as well. So fair warning here, this is going to be a lot more of a detailed process and it's not as easy as the things that I just showed. The first thing that you wanna do is find a decent set of app icons. I usually try and find some with all the icons that you need for any relevant apps that you might use. I'll put a few links in the descriptions to a few icon packs if you wanna get started with those, but you can find these pretty easy through Google as well. So find one of those sets and make sure it's on your iPad. I just added mine to my iCloud drive and just popped on my iPad and just saved all of those as images. Before I start adding icons, I like to delete all my icons on my home screen so I have a blank slate to work with. If you wanna keep all your old icons and set up, you can just uncheck your app pages from the page control like I showed before and just add them back at any time. The process of changing how these look is kind of interesting because we're not actually going to be changing the app icons themselves. The app icons are the app icons. We don't have any way to change those. What we're actually going to do is create an app shortcut and customize that. And that's actually going to replace the app icon. So to do this, we're gonna start off in our shortcuts app we are going to hit the plus icon to create a new shortcut. I'm gonna go up to the top and give it a name. And then on the right hand side, you'll click this search field and just search for open or open app. 
you should see the open app option under scripting. So click that. And then when our action is added, we want to click where it says app and choose the app we're going to open. Then you can hit the little blue button with the slider icon and hit add to home screen. From here, you can give it a name, or if you're like me, you can just delete the text altogether. If you want a more minimalistic look, then click on the icon and go to choose photo. Your icons should show up there and you can just scroll through until you find one that works. Then just hit add in the upper right corner and bam, your shortcut has been added to your home screen. You'll want to do this for each icon that you want to put on your home screen. I know it's time consuming, but you'll get there, I promise. And just a note here, I'm not sure if this is an iPad OS 15 bug or if this is something that we're gonna have to do in the future as well, but you'll notice the icons get squished a little bit horizontally right now. If that concerns you, you might have to go into an image editor and just resize the image a little bit. What I did was go into Affinity Photo and resize the image to 1200 by 1024. So it just stretches it out a little bit horizontally. And then I just applied this to every icon by running a batch job. You can do that in Photoshop as well and most other image editors. And I think there's some really simple online apps that will do that as well. I'm hoping that this is just a beta bug. Uh, hopefully if you're watching this a month or two from now, this isn't an issue. So this is starting to look really good, but watch what happens when I try and open this app up. I get this ugly little notification type thing that says the shortcut worked. And we really don't want to show that because it's mildly irritating, so let's get rid of that. You're going to head back into your shortcuts app. You're going to create a personal automation and then scroll down until you find app. Once you've clicked that, you can set this up for all your apps at once. So I'm just going to select any apps that I made custom icons for and hit next. Then I want to add an action. This is just gonna be a dummy action. It doesn't really do anything. So I find the easiest thing to do here is hit the button to add an action and search for calculate and hit calculate. Just put one plus one in here and just hit next and then turn off the toggle to ask before running. Now we open up our app and boom, that shortcut notification is gone. The last thing here, if you get actual notifications from the shortcuts app, from when things like automations complete, the easiest way to turn those off is by heading to settings and making sure screen time is on. Head back there the next time you get an unwanted notification, go into screen time, hit see all activity, scroll down to notifications and click the shortcuts app. Here, I'm not using the shortcuts app, but this will be the same process regardless. And just click turn off allow notifications. And that's pretty much it for icons. If you want to find matching widgets, there's loads of third party ones app developers have made. Uh, you'll install those the same way you would a regular app. And then you'll just go through the same process as adding any other widget. So we made it through all that. We now have a way to show app icons, wallpapers, and widgets the way that we want to on iPadOS. Is it perfect? No, not at all. This is actually a pretty time consuming process. And I think Apple should probably refine this a lot more and allow us to do this a little easier. I know that these customizations are probably not what Apple had in mind with shortcuts because this whole process is kind of ridiculous to be honest, but there is obviously a huge group of people who want to do this. So Apple, if you're listening, give the people what they want. Again, I'll put some links down below to any useful information, icons, widgets, and so on. If you guys have any other cool customization features you wanna talk about or anything that you wanna see, leave a comment down below. And as always, you know I'm gonna say it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this tech related content, please subscribe and hit that bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified anytime that I release new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.